In the vast universe, a new era of competition begins. It's not just about land or riches anymore. Now it's about who can connect to the world digitally. SpaceX is launching lots of satellites to circle the Earth, trying to bring the internet to everyone. But China is also joining the race. They want to show off their tech skills and expand their internet in space. This isn't just about giving everyone internet access. It's a big move that shows how countries worry about who's in charge of technology, keeping their country safe, and who's winning in this new space race. But before we get into the details, hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. We're all about bringing you the latest and greatest updates, so you don't want to miss out. Alright, let's get right into it. SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, has changed space tech. They've put lots of satellites in space to give fast internet worldwide. Their rockets can be used again and they send satellites out quickly, showing others how it's done. But now there's competition. China is joining the satellite internet game. They're launching many rockets and making top-notch satellites to compete with Starlink. Their goal isn't just to improve internet access. It's a big plan to show they're a tech giant and a major player in space. China is busy creating its own space setup, aiming to make something like SpaceX's Starlink. They're looking closely at Starlink satellites, especially how they were used in the Ukraine conflict. The Chinese government and military want to make a similar network. This shows they want to grow their influence and skills in space, which puts them in direct competition with SpaceX. It also worries the US about security and who's in charge of space tech. China is planning to launch around 26,000 satellites to create a network for the internet, similar to what SpaceX is doing with Starlink. This big project is run by government-backed companies and shows China's ambition to have its own global satellite system. It's not just about the internet. It's also about military uses like we saw in conflicts in places like Ukraine and Gaza. They're starting by sending out about 1,300 satellites by 2029, which is a tenth of their total plan. This puts China in direct competition with the US for who's in charge in space. China's space industry has grown a lot, focusing on science, tech, and applications, and aiming for top-notch development. They want to explore space peacefully, meet development and security needs, and help humanity move forward. They're all about innovation, efficiency, peace, and working with other countries. They've also been busy with projects like the Chang'an Space Station and the Beidou Navigation Satellite System, showing they're serious about leading in space exploration, tech, and using space for different purposes. This is all part of China's strategy to be a big player in space, challenging others like SpaceX and adding to the global talk about the space exploration and how it's managed. China's satellite project is said to make global communication much better. They want to send lots of satellites into space to create a strong internet network up there. It will give super fast steady internet to everyone on Earth. By 2030, they hope to have internet connections between satellites that are faster than 100 gigabits per second. This means people everywhere can get information quickly and communicate smoothly. But it's not just about the internet. China also sees this project as a way to boost national security and defense. They know how important satellites are in modern warfare, like we saw in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. These satellites can do lots of things for the military, like spying, guiding, and secure communication. China wants to rely less on foreign systems like the US GPS and be more independent in space tech. Apart from military goals, China's satellite project will also help economically and socially. By setting up a big satellite network, they want to connect even the most remote places, closing the gap between those with and without the internet. Better connectivity means more economic growth and new technologies. It also helps with things like managing disasters, farming, and developing rural areas. This shows China's commitment to using space tech to help society, fitting with their goals for development and working with other countries in space. China's project is about securing an important spot in space. 
being in low Earth orbit is seen as crucial for both politics and technology. This move by China is a big step in becoming a leader in space tech, which could help their economy and keep them safe. They're also working on super-fast 6G internet, which could make satellite internet even better in the future. Compared to other projects, SpaceX wants to launch about 42,000 satellites or Starlink, but China's plan is even bigger. This means they're aiming for a really huge network and could cover more area, handle more users, and be more advanced, especially with their focus on 6G tech. China's satellite project uses top-notch tech, like remote sensing and super-smart 6G systems. These make the network really efficient and ready for the future, possibly making it better than other satellite internet services in terms of speed and reliability. The US and SpaceX are worried about China's big satellite internet project for a few reasons. First, having so many satellites up there could make it hard for SpaceX's Starlink to find space. Also, China's work on 6G might make the internet even faster, challenging the US in space and tech. Plus, being in a key spot in space fits with China's bigger plans, which could change who's powerful around the world. China's main aim with its satellite internet project is to improve internet access worldwide and make communication faster. They want to send out lots of satellites to connect even the most remote places. This will help bridge the gap between those with and without the internet and make digital access fairer for everyone. China's plan to build a powerful satellite internet system promises improved global connection by bringing high-speed internet to areas without regular access. Additionally, increased competition for more players in the market could mean better services and lower costs for users worldwide. China's satellite project offers strategic advantages, including securing a significant spot in low Earth orbit early on to prevent monopolies and maintain importance in space communication. It also showcases China's technological prowess and strengthens its role in global internet infrastructure, potentially enhancing its global influence. Moreover, it provides enhanced surveillance and security in space, potentially including the ability to monitor and disable rival satellites like Starlink. Elon Musk's SpaceX is leading the way with its Starlink project, which aims to bring fast internet to the entire world using lots of satellites. SpaceX's quick growth and advanced tech have raised the bar in satellite internet. China's plans to compete with Starlink by sending out thousands of satellites have caught global attention, possibly including SpaceX's notice. China's move is seen as a direct challenge to Starlink, trying to have a big presence in space for internet coverage. This shows a growing competition between China and SpaceX for who's in charge of space-based internet. While Elon Musk has mentioned some issues with China, like them wanting Starlink in their country, there haven't been public comments from him or SpaceX about China's satellite plans. But the competition between them suggests a close watch on how satellite internet is evolving globally. China's ambitious and SpaceX's Starlink show how the race for control in space technology is getting more intense. China's progress in satellite technology serves both civilian and military purposes. By expanding its satellite network, China boosts its abilities in communication, navigation, and surveillance, which directly help its military. Their fast-growing anti-satellite weapons show they could disable enemy satellites, crucial for military activities. This poses a big challenge for the U.S., which relies heavily on satellites for its military operations. China's recent success in testing a satellite refueling tanker is a big step. This innovation could extend satellite lifespans by letting them refuel instead of running out of fuel and becoming useless. It shows China is making progress in areas of space tech that other countries used to dominate. China's space progress isn't just about their region, it has worldwide effects. Their ability to use satellites for military and communication helps them gain influence globally. This shift in space power makes countries like the US invest more in tech to protect their satellites from potential competition. What do you think about China's space satellites? 
We would like to know in the comments section below, so feel free to drop your perspective. Your insights truly matter. Stay tuned and catch you in the next one.